Evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies Hobby, or afternoon, whatever. Good, happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. Starting our day off with a nine-box playoff hunt baseball mixer. Random team number two from JaspiesHobbyland.com. Big, big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. Thanks, everybody. There's the teams right there, plus the combos. So we'll randomize each list. Two and a two, four times, four the hard way. One. Two, three, and four. Four is easy, too. Jeff Goldenthal down to TJ Poyer. The other TJ. One of two. Uh, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. After four times, we've got the Yankees down to the Rockies. All right, so Jeff G, Yankees, nice. Bill Collins with the Cardinals. Richard with the Giants. Mark, you got the Diamondbacks-Marlins combo. David with the Pirates. Scott with the Mariners. D-Mac with the Tigers. Mark with the Twins. Jacob Z, you got the Padres-Rays combo. Richard with the A's. Uh, Ehrlich, White Sox. Neil, Last Spot Mojo, Nats. TC with the Strohs. Scott, you got the Red Sox and the Rangers. Cubbies for Paul Coolwit. TJ, you got the Mets. Derek with the Braves, Bill Collins with the Blue Jays, Chris with the Indians, Jason, you got my Dodgers. I'm wearing my Dodgers hat, right? Yeah. Steven Wilgerson, Phillies, TC with the Brew Crew. We got Mike Koontz with the Angels, Allen with the O's, Eric, Eric, where did I get Eric? Jacob Arnold with the Reds, Scott with the uh, Kansas City Royals, and TJ Poyer with the Rocks. Let's sort by column B. And let's try to get the entire list on that screen there for you. All right, there we go. Now remember, before you're trading, there's we've got one, two, three, four, five boxes of 2016. One of the 2016 is Bowman Draft. Keep that in mind while you're trading. One box is 2017, and then we've got three boxes of 2018. So just keep all that in mind while you're trading. Jaspie's Hobbyland, not responsible for any bad trades made. We will not be held responsible. It's up to you to know the checklists. Unless I'm feeling nice and someone's getting completely fleeced. All right. Uh, TJ has the Mets up for trade. Cubs, Cubs Dodgers maybe? Yeah, there's no bad trade insurance, I'm afraid, Mike Tower. Maybe someone else could sell that. Someone else could sell that. Cubs, Dodgers, Mets, White Sox, maybe. There are some trade offers being thrown out there, but no one's confirming anything. So I don't know. I don't know if some people. I don't know if Paul's here. Max. Mets White Sox. I don't think that's. I think that's pretty. I forget why. Well, honestly, don't remember who's in that 2016 set. But I think that's. As for the recent stuff, I think that would be relatively fair. These were the guys in the 2016 draft edition. And then it was Bregman and Seeger on the box of 2016 Bowman. And obviously, the finest and the, the high tech will include, and the tops chrome will include vet autos. All right. Trade window going once. I know this, this may, if, if you're watching on YouTube, you can fast forward. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, you can, should have fast forwarded this by now. All right, so no go, says Max. That's all good. All right, trade window closed then. Let's print this out. And I think we're going to start with... Um, I think we're going to start with... We'll go back in time. We'll start with 2016. I'll save the high tech till the end.
All right, so the official list right here on a Saturday for our playoff hunt mixer. It's official when it's printed out. Can't be changed ever. I'm sure it could be, but. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. So like I said, let's go, let's go to the past. And why don't we start with a little 2016 Bowman draft? Then we'll work our way around. We'll probably work our way from here across back around to high tech. Uh, no, Rocky, not at the moment, I'm afraid. Elliot, uh, we are all sold out of that one as well. We, do got, we have some other hockey on the site, though. JaspiesHobbyLand.com All right, let's pop all of these open. Good luck, boys and girls. I don't think there's any games that are any baseball games that are uh, finished up yet. Maybe just one game. No, none are finished up. We only have a few in progress. Two in progress. Yankees leading the the Tigers two one in the bottom of the eighth in New York and in San Francisco. The Mets took a two one lead in the uh, presumably the top of the eleventh. Let's see if they can hang on for the W. We're in the bottom of the eleventh now. I think I think one of my picks was the uh, was the Mets. Oh yeah, Stephen Wilkerson. This is the box for you. I think number one overall, Mickey Moniak, would be would be the auto you'd want to chase there. All right, let's get this knife out of the way so I don't hurt myself like I did yesterday. All right, we got Zach Johnson. See, we've got, who else do we have here? There's Kevin Newman on the top. We'll breeze through this paper. And Gavin Lux is our first autograph for Jason Reardon and the Dodgers. Nice, a little Dodger Joe Mojo. I think he's, he's been progressing pretty well this season. I think there were some cur some concerns early on that he m may not develop that bat, but I think he has been developing that bat. So that's good. And we've got Don Thompson Williams for the Yankees out of 499. So these inserts and this chrome will ship. It's just this paper that won't be shipping. I'm sure everyone read the item description, product description. Yeah, he's with uh, he's with TJ over in Tulsa. He's a driller along with this guy, the Dodgers Double A team in the playoffs. So hopefully they do well. There's Jesus uh, Luzardo. And we'll top load all of those numbered cards uh, before they ship out. There's Reese Hoskins. Nice Reese Hoskins out of 250 from back in 2016. That's pretty cool. Steven Wilkerson with the Phillies.
Is DJ Peters going to win the uh, the double A home run title? Does he hit with runners in scoring position, TJ? Dodgers could use some uh, some of that. I like these old school cards here too. Some college football on the TV, folks. What do I have here? I've got West Virginia and Tennessee on the television. We've got Ryan Cordell here out of 150 for the Brew Crew. That'll go to TC and the Brewers. And we've got Jake Fraley for the Rays. That goes to the Padres-Rays combo, Jacob Z. Out of 150. Second round pick. I don't know much about this guy, but I don't know. Hold on to it. See what happens. Could be somebody. Could be a player, as they say. And there's Joe Rizzo for the Mariners, Scott McNulty with the M's. I think there's only, what, three, three autos per box? Four autos? I think it's three. Friend of Jaspi's Hobbyland, Anthony Banda. We've got Shane Bieber. Nice. It's a cool one. He's starting now. I think he started yesterday. Today. And the rest is just paper. And there you go. Get all that organized there. All right, we'll stay in 2016. We'll stay in Bowman. So that was draft. And now we have 2016 Bowman baseball. Good luck, everybody. It's a final in San Francisco. Mets beat the Giants 2-1. to one. Which is good because I think I had the I had the Mets today. What did I? What did I? Where did I get the Mets? I got had the Mets plus one twenty two, ladies and gentlemen, for entertainment purposes only, of course. Do, do not tail these picks. I mean, you can if you want to, but you'll lose money just like me. But not today. Not with the Mets, at least. And uh, still the top of the ninth, Yankees still ahead of the Tigers, two to one. They're just getting started in Philadelphia. Phillies hosting the Cubs. Just getting started in our nation's capital. The Nationals hosting the Brew Crew. A bunch of games warming up. Red Sox at White Sox. Angels at Astros. Pirates at uh, Braves. Rays in Cleveland. Blue Jays are in Miami. Orioles are in Kansas City. The Reds are playing the Redbirds in St. Louis. Looks like those games are all warming up. Minnesota, Texas later tonight. Colorado, pa Colorado, uh, San Diego, Seattle, Oakland. And then the late game, the last game of the night, Arizona in L.A. facing my Dodgers. 
big win for the Dodgers last night to kind of try to creep closer in the in the NL West. Kershaw on the mound tonight against uh, Patrick Corbin, who's been crushing this this season. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through this paper. There's Jameson Tyon, Carson Fulmer. Jack Flaherty. King D is saying, sucks it won't be Astros and Dodgers again because the Astros won't make the playoffs. Because the A's are going to catch up to them. King D is concerned. That's what he said in the chat just right now. I agree with you, King D. I'd be nervous too. I think the Dodgers can squeeze into the playoffs. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be nerve uh, it's gonna be nerve wracking. I think it's gonna come right down to the last series of the year against the Diamondbacks. I don't know. I mean, I think the Dodgers will have to. I mean, I think the Dodgers will have to play a lot better than they are now if I'm gonna feel good about them. Uh, if I if I want to feel good about them in the playoffs. Right, like if the Dodgers still can't, you know, shore up the bullpen, you know, hit with runners in scoring position, then it's going to be a quick exit from the playoffs. And at that point, I'd rather just not have them in the playoffs if they're going to play like that. Well, I don't know about that, Daniel. How 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 is <laughs> it's kind of hard to hard to fix an entire playoff series from divisional series to the LCS through the World Series. All right, we got two things going on here. You got 22 out of 50. Iolana Akau for the A's. That's gold. That's for Richard. And we've got Brett Boone. Brett Boone, what are you doing here, Brett Boone? You got to sign down here. We got Mariners Brett Boone for Scott McNulty. 175 out of 200. There you go. Old Brett Boone. Booney. That's pretty cool. All right, next one. Yeah, what were some of the what were some of the call ups today? I haven't even looked at what some of the Dodgers call ups are. Dodgers did pick up David Freeze late last night um, from the Pirates, and they of course they got Ryan Madsen too. And there it is, John Gray. Oh, I guess I guess some of the, they have to wait for the. Uh, it's out of 499, John Gray. I, they got to wait for the playoffs to finish up. This is kind of a cool card. I, for, I forget 2016. John Gray, Rockies. That'll go to TJ Poyer. You should sign on that blank part. Dan, <laughs> Chris Parent.
And we've got another guy that we've, we're seeing lately, 94 out of 150, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Well, Daniel Cornejo, let, let's let's be honest. There's no way for 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 baseball to rig an entire World Series. So let's let's just let's just nip that in the bud right now. It's just it's not facts. <laughs> like who would they pay off? Who would the Astros have to pay off? Who would, what would the league have to do? You, you, there's so much collusion involved. If there's only one or two people involved, it's not like boxing. Franklin Colon Colome. If, if if it was like if it was boxing, I'd be like, sure, Danny, I'm with you. You you could sway you could sway a judge, right? That goes to Stephen Wilkerson and the Phillies. But it's a it would it'd be a huge conspiracy. You'd have to have. Astros would have to pay off people. The league would have to pay off people. They'd have to get, you know, dozens of teams of umpires to to collude the conspiracy to conclude to collude with all of that. You have to somehow make sure that the Astros don't screw it up <laughs> and not win. You have to make sure that you Darvish blows two games in the World Series. You got to ensure that to happen. You got you got to make sure that you got to make sure that uh, Dave Roberts makes poor in-game decisions. You got to make sure that continues to happen. Got to make sure Kenley Jansen gives up a couple uh, a couple homers late in games. I would say, as a uh, as a gambling man myself, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Brett Boone's cool. As a gambling man, I think baseball would probably be, in this day and age, like post, you know, we're talking about 2018. Um, it's got to be one of the hardest sports to uh, to rig, right? At least in a in a whole series, they make so much money. 2016. It's not like the old days with the with the Black Sox where they were making no money from from old Comiskey. So they had to resort to that kind of thing. It's not like poor college kids, you know, like point shaving in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, John Samuelson, come on. <laughs> He's like, John Samuelson's like, Joe, thanks to your Raiders for trading him to my Bears. I'll be purchasing my Cleo Mac t-shirt right away. Bah. He's just he's just gonna be a, a, a Raiders double agent, John Samuelson. He's going to uh, you know he's going to I don't know make sure that the Bears will lose games so the Raiders first round picks from the Bears will be high picks. Will be like top ten picks. Khalil Mack, double agent. I believe that more than more than the base more than Major League Baseball rigging it. <laughs> For the Astros. Anything's possible when there's tons of money involved? I mean, there is, but again, all the money would, if, if there was any money that actually changed hands, people would find out. There's too many people not to, that, that you'd have to keep quiet. It wouldn't happen. It's hard to keep that many people quiet. That's right, David. No, that, that, um, that's exactly what happened. They saw Aaron Donald's con the Raiders saw Aaron Donald's contract, and they were like, "Nope." <laughs> well, especially since that would, if if Khalil Mack got paid more than Aaron Donald, then there's Matt Duffy for the Strohs, T TC with the Astros. Um, he would he would make more than Derek Carr, and I don't think Derek Carr's agent would be very happy with that. So then the then the Raiders would have to renegotiate Derek Carr's contract. To pay him even more, it would just not. It would. It would have been an S show. I. I wish the Dodge or the Dodgers. I wish the. I wish the Raiders would have just kept him and said, "Hey, go ahead, hold out, lose game checks," you know, and just kind of fight that battle. But I guess they didn't want to deal with it all season long. Michael Reed, and I guess you know, with Gruden being the new coach, 
with Gruden being the new coach, I, th- I think he's just kind of cleaning house. He's like, I want to get my guys in, guys that I agree with. There's Michael Reed out of 250 for TC and the Brewers. So I think there was a lot of that involved too. But... Oh yeah, that was that was going to happen as 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 soon as Aaron John Tamison saying that Mac got extended, it's going to be bigger than it's bigger than uh, Aaron Donalds. That the Raiders weren't prepared to do that. Sixty five out of one fifty, Francisco Lindor. That'll go to the Indians. Chris Parent with that one, nice. Future star indeed. There's Ryan Dull, uh, rookie auto for the A's. That'll go to Richard. Daniel's asking, Dan, are you conspiracy theory guy, Daniel? You're conspiracy theory guy. Do you think he was mad because he liked Del Rio and didn't agree with them firing him? No. I think I think Khalil Mack likes money. <laughs> and I think he wanted to make a lot of it. And when he realized the Raiders weren't going to give it to him, he was like, I'm going to hold out. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think he was that – I don't think he wanted to like fight the good fight for Jack Del Rio. <laughs> That's not going to bring Jack Del Rio back. Oh, look at this. Five out of five, Dustin Pedroia, laser show for the Red Sox, Scott McNulty. That was unexpected. Scott, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is strong. I saw a little bit of red, and then I saw the auto, and I was like, what? And there's Kelby Tomlinson for the Giants. Richard with Oppo Joe Mojo. I feel like there's a lot of autos out of here. Fulta Fulton Fulton Nevitz. Fulton Nevich. Fulty. I always have trouble with that one. I'm gonna practice Fulty's name in the mirror. I wouldn't be able to broadcast Braves games, at least when he's starting. Um, let's go into so that, these are 2018. Um, so we're kind of creeping into 2018. So we'll do these three 2018 boxes, and then we'll close out with the high techs that are that are hiding right here. Let's go with the Stadium Club first. Uh, going back to a little football, Andrew Casing, anyone own uh, McKinnon in fantasy? He's done for the year. What happened? It's a final in the Bronx. The Yankees beat the uh, Tigers 2-1. to one. And the Cubs with an early, early lead in Philadelphia, 2-0. Everything else is scoreless right now. Middle of the first, bottom of the first, top of the first. A lot of first innings. ACL, says Ehrlich. What, like in practice? That's what you... Uh That's what you get for, for, for working hard. That's that's what Jerry McKinnon gets for hustling. He's like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard and practice. There goes the ACL. John Towns says, Joe, uh, I bragged about the twins and Topps Chrome, and then someone took them right away last night. 
Hashtag loose lip sync ships. Yeah, you should have kept that cl close to the vest. It was late at night. I didn't think someone was going to do that. And then bang. There goes the twins. All right, Stadium Club. Got some red foil here. Oh, we've got members only card right here, Javier Baez. For the Cubbies, that goes to Paul Coolwit. Wait, where was where was Jarek McKinnon? Was he st is he still on the Vikings? I don't think he's still on the Vikings, right? Some more red foil here. Niners, that's right. Thanks, Landon. I was like, he wasn't on that. We'll save those Otanis in the black foil. Wait, who else do they ha who else do they have out there? There's Garrett Cooper for the Marlins. I love the photography in Stadium Club. That goes to Mark Green and the Diamondbacks Marlins combo. Oh, Andrew K said it. He was saying that uh, Matt Breida and Alfred Morris will be running. We're rooting for. What's the best solution for the hobby, Andrew K? Who are the big Niner? Was Matt Breida a rookie last year? Right? We need Matt Breida. We need everyone to dust off their Matt Breida autographs from our seven, 2018 sets from last year. Dust off those rookies and root for him to win the starting job and just go off. There's red foil Billy Hamilton, red foil Cody Bellinger. And we should have one more autograph in here. Where, where are you? One more autograph. There's Josh Donaldson. That's, that's a good pickup by the tribe. Chris Davis. And there it is, Reese Hoskins. That's nice, Steven Wilkerson and the fight and fills. Nice Reese Hoskins auto. He's picking it up second half of the season, playing well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was, that was Stadium Club. All right, let's look at some 2018 Topps Finest Baseball. You did. You got you got a you got a couple autographs already though, I think. A couple Marlins, I think. At least one. I don't know why you keep ending up with that. You also you got a second spot though. You still have the twins. I don't know if there's anything for the twins yet. We are running out of boxes. Gotta start gotta start pulling hits for some more people. Daniel saying, these awesome breaks, I, ha I have the best job in the world. That is false, Daniel. I do not have the best job in the world. The best job in the world is, is probably, probably a long snapper in the NFL. 
Those guys have like 15 year careers and they got to do one thing a few times a game. That's the best job in the world. Got some more red coming up. Wow, another red. Two out of five, Tim Beckham. This time for Alan Murdoch and the Orioles. There you go, Alan. There you go. Alan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And it's strong. Fuerte. That's nice. There's Max Scherzer to 150. Kickers have pretty good jobs. I, th I think that might be the best job in the world. Or maybe a kicker. Nice Sean Newcomb autograph for Derek. And the Bravos. Derek G with that one. Maybe a, a punter. Pretty good. Punter's careers last forever. I think I think Shane Leckler is still punting, right? There's guys that punt for like 20 years. I mean, you'd be a decent punter. No CTE, but you can still hang out with with your football buddies. You know, all you gotta do is punt. It's not like the pressure of a place kicker, right? They gotta kick field goals. That's a lot of pressure. There's Donaldson Cornerstones out of out of 50 Cornerstones. Folks, we do have cornerstones of basketball in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspieshobbyland.com. You like that? It's a good, good segue right there. And Dozier, 97 out of 99, Brian Dozier, new Dodger. Dodger Dozier. Let's go to the Twins. Goes to Mark Green with a green parallel. Look at that, Mark. Mars, 97 out of 99. The Doge. Nice, Doge in it. There you go. Nice box of finest. And there's Longo and there's a Buster. All right. Oh, you guys let Shane Leckler go. Anyway, he's, what, how many years has he had? He had like a zillion years with the Raiders and had a handful of productive years with, with the Texans. How, mu how much... How much money did has he has Shane Leckler made in his career just for punting a football? That's the bet that's the best job ever. That's definitely the best job ever. Low risk, high reward. <laughs> I mean I can't think of I mean it's like punter, long snapper, case breaker. I think those those are the those are the top top three best jobs in the world. Lottery winner, Mega Millions winner, that'll be a good job too. <laughs> Put half of that in Bitcoin. Be a billionaire. Make rocket ships, maybe. Rich, rich as vigilante. That's a lot of work. I, I'd have to, I'd have to carry a, I'd have to carry a lot of anger in my heart. We all saw the pu Punisher. That's a dark, that's dark dude. Yeah, that, that's a lot of weight. He's carrying a lot of weight a he and a heavy heart. You have to really ramp yourself up to be a vigilante, be angry about something, about some injustice or some perceived injustice. King D says just being unemployed. Yeah, but you got to, I mean, get like unemployed after winning a bunch, after winning the lottery. That's, that's a good unemployed. 
I mean, unemployed is no fun when you don't have money. All right, 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. Uh, there's Chris Stratton, Blue Wave. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Richard. Um, we do have a case of, we only have a handful of teams left in our final uh, pick your team break of Topps Chrome Baseball, 12 box hobby, where you can find this guy, among others. So take a look at that, jazbeeshobbyland.com if you want to do some more baseball. Two autographs per box, orange parallel possibilities, which I love. Big hit possibilities. Shohei Otani possibilities. Mike Koontz got randomized the Angels in a baseball mixer with only one box of 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball and ends up with a Shohei Otani. Boom! Wake up, Mike Koontz. Look at that. There you go. That's pretty that's not that's not too bad for for a mixer of all things. There's Clint Frazier out of 150. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Jeff G. Gold Cody Bellinger out of 50 for the Dodgers. There you go. Yeah, $45 lottery ticket. That's right, Chris. This is this is why we play the game. This this is the thrill of the chase, ladies and gentlemen. You might add some fun things to the personal collection, some things to resell, blah blah blah. But sometimes you can hit something big like that. This is why we do it. All right, uh, let's go with 2016 at Topps High Tech Baseball. Let's start with these two boxes, and then we'll close out with 2017 High Tech Baseball. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. We've got Chipper Jones, David Wright, Aaron Blair, nice Nomar Mazzara parallel, and an orange Kershaw. 23 out of 25 for Jason and the Dodgers. A nice Jaspi orange parallel. And the autograph will be Malik Smith, Braves edition. 13 out of 50. The speedster going to Derek and the Braves. All right. Second box of 2016 Tops High Tech Baseball. Koufax, Chris Sale, Eddie Rosario, and Rafael Palmero, who I think is still trying to play baseball, and a red Miguel Sano, although I don't think these are number to five. They changed it, right? They did. They changed that a few years ago. Still nice, though, so still we'll go to the Twins and Mark Green. The autograph is going to be Tyler White for the Strohs. That'll go to TC and the Astros. All right, there you go, TC. And the other two, we have Nolan Arenado and Luis Severino. Now, the year afterwards, in 2017, High Tech... They, lo they loaded it up. They added two autographs in here. And a lot more, a uh, ton more foil 
parallels, which are great, and one big, one big pack, which I thought was great. And all of these will ship, of course, just because there, there's a lot of layers and short prints and everything that it's just easier to ship the whole thing. Uh, we've got Roger Clemens to 250. It's the Yankees edition. There's Nolan Arenado, green to 99. I think that's a, the shorter prints are kind of in the middle right here. Out of 250, Chad Pinder. And we've got the the blackout ones, which I think look really sharp. And our first autograph here. Wow, nice. Adrian Beltre. Two out of ten on that Adrian Beltre for Scott McNulty and the Rangers. Nice. That is strong. The next autograph is Tyler Austin for the Yankees. And that will go to Jeff Goldenthal. Another nice one. And the rest. And there you go, Lee. That's Trey Turner, Mancini, and Carlos Carrasco closes things out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A very nice break. A very nice nine box mixer. That was our Jaspies nine box playoff hunt mixer. Random team number two from that website right there on a Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.